Other fog. You know, they're 35 kilometers offshore. There's no power. There's no water. There's probably more inhospitable locations, but there certainly is an, a tougher location to work in for such a big project. Failure is not an option, and neither is delay. Shanghai's container traffic is growing by 30 percent every year. To build Yangshan, engineers must create an artificial island with a 10 square kilometer port, bigger than 20,000 basketball courts, in ocean 15 meters deep. And that will take thousands of millions of cubic meters of soil. How do you get it? Enter the Sea Dragon, the Mega Dredge. Built in the Netherlands to clear Shanghai's monumental silt, this is a dredge like no other. When the Sea Dragon swings into action, you can see how it got its name. Its two massive suction arms bear an uncanny resemblance to monsters of the deep. Ocean floor mud as deep as 45 meters can't escape their jaws. And they don't just eat a lot, they eat fast. Thanks to some mega power topside. In the belly of this beast, two turbocharged 12-cylinder diesel engines generate 9,000 kilowatts of power each. With that kind of power, the Sea Dragon only needs to pump one hour to fill its hopper with mud. In China, eight is a lucky number. So the Sea Dragon's hopper holds 12,000 888 cubic meters. That's over 200,000 kegs of beer. Once the hopper's full, two gigantic pumps drain the water from over 12,000 cubic meters of mud. And Captain Yan says, that when it's time to deliver the payload, his dredge leads the pack. Older ships can only dump sand, but the sea dragon can blow or spray it. That gives it a real advantage over other ships on the construction site. The Sea Dragon worked almost a full year just to build phase one. Dumping 3,000 million cubic meters of mud. Enough to fill over a million Olympic swimming pools. Growing a man-made island in ocean over 15 meters deep. The Sea Dragon's done its job, for now. But there are still two more phases of Yangshan to build, and they'll need 13 billion cubic meters of mud, enough to fill Loch Ness. Turning open sea into 10 square kilometers of world-class container port in under four years is pretty impressive. But Yangshan only proves itself when the world's biggest container ships come to call. Now, one of the biggest, the Gudrun Maersk, is ready to unload. And the port of Yangshan has to unload her 3,000 containers, reload her with 2,000 more, and send her on her way in just 20 hours. Over those 20 hours, Yangshan's state-of-the-art technology and the people who run and manage it 
must once again show the shipping world that they are among the best. Because in this high stakes world, no matter how good you are, you're only as good as your last ship. Twelve noon. Unloading the Gudrun Mursk begins. Three thousand shipping containers in less than twenty hours. Every hour behind schedule costs thousands of dollars. And takes you down a notch in the eyes of the shipping world. Only the best can pull this off. And Yangshan Deepwater Port has 13 of them. The STS-40 shipped ashore crane, 50 meters high. That's as tall as the fabled Godzilla. And they're manufactured right in the neighborhood at the Zhenhua Company on Chungshing Island at the mouth of the Yangtze, only 125 kilometers from Yangshan, the biggest crane factory in the world. But even at this mega factory where mountains of metal seem to float on air, the Yangshan cranes were a tall order. Most container cranes can lift one 40-foot container at a time, or two 20-foot ones. Yangshan needed cranes that could lift twice that many, and stand tall enough to reach them from atop the world's biggest ships. And it needed 13 of them. General Manager Lu Hanjong recalls the excitement of winning the Yangshan contract, and the anxiety of fulfilling it. Designing and manufacturing cranes this big was a challenge for us. Because ships are getting bigger and higher, cranes have to be bigger too. We couldn't simply make one of our smaller cranes twice as big. That crane would have been far too heavy to build. We needed to change the design of the whole structure. But one of the toughest challenges to giving Yangshan its super cranes wasn't building them. When they arrive at container ports, new cranes can need up to six months reassembly before they are ready to operate. But not Zhenhua's cranes. They come with no assembly required. Shipped around the world on Zhenhua's specially modified freighters, but Zhenhua's ships had never transported cranes as tall and heavy as the ones ordered by Yangshan. The cranes couldn't be any shorter or lighter, or Yangshan wouldn't beat its competition. There was only one option. Solve the problem. We successfully designed a bigger crane which doesn't add much to its own weight but can still do the job it's designed to do. And we design them so they can lower their height while they're being transported. Problem solved. Cranes designed, built, and delivered. Now they're putting Yangshan ahead of the pack. Most container port cranes can handle about 30 containers an hour. Yangshan's cranes can handle more than 50. Thanks to crane drivers like Zhang Yi, who have made a commitment to being the best. The difficulty we have to conquer